My name is John Horner and I'm the Media and Marketing Associate here at Larsa Inc. in New York. In this introductory tutorial for bridge projects, we'll be using Larsa 4D's bridge series software to provide an overview for the analysis of a straight, two-span, single girder bridge with a T-shaped cross-section. As we can see, the bridge model we'll create has two spans of 100 feet each. Our abutments are modeled as bearings supporting both translation and rotation, and the pier is modeled as a bearing supporting vertical displacement only. In the first half of this tutorial, we'll begin by setting project units, importing materials and custom parametric sections, drawing members and creating joints and members in Larsa 4D spreadsheets, creating bearings using simple linear grounded springs and 6x6 stiffness matrix definitions, using rigid members, refining the model using brake members, creating a self-weight load case, and viewing the results of a linear static analysis with graphical results and Lars's results spreadsheets. In the second part of this tutorial, we'll cover several analysis techniques including live load analysis for Ashto LRFD with influence lines, structure groups, staged construction analysis, temporary loads, support change activities, post-tensioning with tendons, and material time effects under CEB FIP90. To begin setting up our project, we'll first start a new project file in Larsa 4D and open the file menu to save the project as basic bridge example. Once saved, we'll start by taking a look at how project units are organized in Larsa 4D. Accessed through the Input Data menu by selecting Units, units are organized in six categories which include coordinates, sections, materials, loads, springs and isolator elements, and mass elements. Each of these make use of different units for convenience, and input coordinates are typically entered in meters or feet, whereas sections are often entered in inches or centimeters. As we can see, the units window in Larsa 4D is arranged in a grid format with the unit categories arranged vertically and the unit types, such as length, force, and temperature, arranged horizontally. If you need to change units, you can simply open the drop-down menu, choose the desired unit, and click Apply. In this example, all units should be assigned as shown. Once your unit measures are set, the second feature of the program to preset are the visual display options. If we open the graphics menu and select Show, we can see this window controls which aspect of the project are included in Lars's graphics view. In this example, be sure to have joints, members, springs, tendons, lanes, and supports turned on. Once set, Click OK, and we can continue to the second part of this tutorial to enter project geometry.